joining us on the broadcast we have mr tv mohandas pai chairman of the manipal global education mr a sarvanan of the dmk mr narayan tirupati of the bjp rajalakshmi joshi and kovai satyan of the aidm ke joining us miss rajalakshmi very practical yes. question for yeah. some people and there might have been some who having no alternative wanted to pursue a medical career and would have lost out if the examinations had been postponed into next year which means that this year is no exams therefore no seats could be utilized do we need to consider their case also um uh, this actually the situation of the neat exams is a very tricky one right now because uh you know uh it is like uh, uh, some people have objected okay and rightly so that a lot of us are like working from home and a lot of uh, sessions are you know even court sessions are happening uh, over the internet they are happening online etc etc but then you cannot have neat exams online i mean uh, maybe you know in the future we are we could uh, you know make a consideration about that and make some provisions about that no, i'm talking about right but now ma'am right now this, But, is it this, uh, is there an argument to be made by some mean? people to say that if we don't have exams this year therefore we lose an entire year of seats that would affect the lives and careers of people as well is that a fair argument or an unfair argument yeah it is it is like uh, you cannot uh, postpone the exams uh, by one year uh, uh, one uh, important thing that everybody is missing here is that you know there is a tremendous pressure on the students to you know get get over and done with with the exams also you know it is such okay, a okay so there's a there's a reverse them. pressure yeah, that if the exams keep hanging, hanging over your neck for 2 years that can yes. make the pressure worse not better yes. mr kovai satyan one more thing one more thing risha yes. one more thing Prisha thought is that you know uh, uh, what uh, what is uh, what most people are missing here is that you know all the private organizations all the private colleges they have finished with their entrance exams they have uh, almost finalized with their admission processes so what is okay what do you then do in that regard Kov mr kovai satyan what can we do right here right now do we need to have better facilities better organization deferment for just a week or two weeks what can we do yes. right now to make the process for people who are giving this exam better no along with let mr satyan take that thought mr satyan along with social distancing norm you have to obviously finish with the exam mr satyan take that thought at the right time that is the best no, uh, see, option exams have no tell me mr rajalakshmi how is it possible is deferment the answer and if that's not the answer what is uh i think conducting exams under uh, you know with the proper social distancing norms is the only solution because uh, like i was saying it's like a sword hanging on their head all the time and also there is this uncertainty about you know where they are going to take admissions whether in the state uh, colleges or in the private colleges and uh, you know there is this issue actually here unnecessary pol politics is being uh, brought into this hang on ms rajalakshmi so, is there an alternative now why do you bring it ms rajalakshmi is there an alternative that we need to be considering yes. seriously any alternative the the the, the idea <laughs> behind uh, uh, scrapping the need is like shifting you know the uh, the problem from need to the 12th standard exam so the the students will be uh, stressed because of the 12th standard exams and uh, they have been in, in the past they have been uh, committing so what is the solution uh, then what's the solution so then ma'am in fact the numbers were higher at that time if we are hopeful for a solution yes, in this country what is the solution to that what is the, how is it helping okay